charger at home, but you just plug it in there, and the battery charges up, and the battery's got about a 30 minute flight time. Uh, these are real nice, they just snap on like that, they just snap on and snap off, which makes it real nice. The old, the old one, the Phantom 3, um, you had to sad part about that was even though you screwed them on and you thought you had them on tight, you could get them up and get it up in flight, and if it wasn't on real tight, if, it, if you didn't tighten it with a wrench that you're supposed to do, you could be up in flight and all of a sudden lose a propeller. And if you do that, just just forget it. You're going to have to go buy a new drone because this thing's going to fall from wherever it is. It's going to fall all the way to Europe and crash. You know, so if you're on cement or anything hard, I mean, it's just going to smash it off and screw the rings. <laughs> but uh, it's, got a, it's got a flying range just the way it sets, of five miles, okay? However, if on that I have, let me shut that off, too. On that, I have a set of uh, dirt, uh, parabolic, parabolic, uh, antenna covers that uh, if I put the antenna covers on it, basically all it is is a horseshoe shaped thing that fits on the antenna like this and the inside of it is copper. The outside is plastic. But what it does then is when the radio signal comes off, it hits that copper and shoots it out at like three times the rate that you would normally have. So with that with the parabolic uh, uh, filters on there with the, with the parabolic covers on there. Although this is about a mile of five, five miles, just the way it says, it'll actually go to 15 miles 
with, with this, with that on it. And the thing is, I had a guy ask me, he said, why do you fly it 15 miles away? I says, the same way you fly it 200 feet away. You look at this. Because, because this is giving you a camera shot of where the chopper is. I mean, it's basically like I'm sitting right here. Right, right, right. Okay? Yep. And so if I want to know where I am, I can turn the chopper or I can turn the camera. And wherever the camera goes, like here just a few minutes ago, I actually lost sight of it. I couldn't see it. And I was up about 250 feet. That's why. <laughs> But I couldn't see it, I couldn't hear it, and I go, okay, where did I go? So I look at this, and it's pointed out towards the lake, so all I can see is water. And I said, okay, I know I'm not over the water, so where am I? So I took the camera, and I just rotated it so the camera went boom, like that, right straight down. I was right over the top of Big Red. <laughs> but I was 250 feet up in the air. Wow. And so then I, I brought the camera up towards me. And so now I know that the chopper is pointed towards me, so then I just push the stick forward, and I see the ground start moving, and I'm looking and watching, looking and watching, and all of a sudden, boom, okay, there it is right there. And so then I brought it down to about 75 feet where I could see it. I flew it down, I flew it up over them apartments over there, and I flew it along the beach, and I flew it up over and took a picture of Van Andel's house up there on the hill. <laughs> But yeah, then I can uh, I can take the video now and uh, I can put it on my computer and play it. Uh, but it should be uh, it should be live on YouTube right now too. So I mean I should be able to go to YouTube and, and find it on YouTube. But so here's all the different settings you can get on it. You know I mean it's uh, I can't see past my nose without them. <laughs>